Hi, my name is Angela Adkins. I am a victim of a drunk driving crash. At the age of 14, when my family and I were coming home from church on a Wednesday night, we were struck nearly head on by a drunk driver. He had been to four bars that night. He was so drunk that he had passed out behind the wheel. He did not have license due to previous offenses and our crash was his fourth or fifth offense. He went to jail that night and he, his parents bailed him out the next day and then he opted for 45 days in rehab while I was still in the hospital. That night of the crash, my life was changed in the blink of an eye. My right collarbone was broken. My left hip was dislocated, my pelvis was fractured in six places, and my back was broken in the mid-low part of my back, which at the time had paralyzed me from the waist down. Thank God I have mostly everything back now. It's just my ankles and my feet, affects my balance, and I have to walk with forearm crutches. I sustained injuries that I still deal with today because of someone's choice to drink and drive. By the grace of God, faith and determination, I came a long way, but I still have consequences because of someone else's choices. As a victim of a violent crime, and drunk driving is a violent crime because it destroys lives, it is violent, when it can be prevented and it is a crime there are laws against it and as a victim i know the importance of having support having people around me to help encourage me and help walk me through this tragedy in my life and i also know the importance of victims rights and being able to share how it has impacted my life in hopes to make a difference for someone else because the goal would be to not see any more repeat offenses or crimes by realizing the effects that it has on other people. So that is why I share my story, is to hopefully make a difference and help someone else from going through what I went through. And that's why it's important for victims to be able to have a voice. Thank you.